Hello again, and welcome to our series where they give me 10 minutes to prep and talk about a wine that we have open today, so we get more mileage out of it. Uh, this is Stoller Dundee Hills Pinot Noir 2013. Um, I don't know if it's in focus. The past two bottles have not been in focus, but that's not really what's important, is it? Um, what to say about it? It's pretty textbook and beautiful. It's hard to have textbook Pinot Noir at a affordable price point. Um, let's go back to the winery itself. There's some funny things there. For example, they started in 1943 as a turkey farm, and they found out <laughs> that it was crap land for turkeys, but because infertile land is debatably very good for wine growing, like Burgundy, for example. Uh, it, the, the guy in the 70s or 90s or somewhere in there, this, this new family member bought it and said it should be a great winery. And so they brought in some dude from Burgundy and they make awesome wine and actually they make awesome, awesome wine. Uh, primarily planted Pinot Noir, they do some Chardonnay, they do some other stuff. Um, let's see here, this guy, I guess we'll get into it. Yeah, it's cherry, it's cola, it's rose, it's lilac, it's violets, it's um, red berry fruit with musk underneath, if that makes sense. On the palate. Yeah, mid to mid plus body, probably like 13% alcohol. I can actually check that, can I? Um, all right, 12.9% alcohol, um, and pretty much confirms. It's the kind of thing that you could do at a table. If, if you were trying to recommend wine or you're trying to pair wine, it's something that you would do to shoot down the middle. Now, there are traditional pairings that you would do with Pinot Noir, mostly Burgundian fare, um, but it's gonna not offend many things, and it's gonna go well with many things. Um, it's high acid, it's medium tannin, uh, it's medium, medium plus alcohol and that and low oh, and that's gonna go with the most things out there this one's about 26 bucks 26 and change um, and it's from Dundee Hills a, a very nice area of the Willamette Valley in Oregon protected by the Chehalem Mountains in the north from all of the cold from the uh, Columbia Gorge so anyway, I hope you enjoyed uh, I certainly am enjoying doing this. this is a lot of fun compared to what I'm usually doing and um, hope to see you guys soon thanks